Next, let's get to the uh, protocol for bills of lading. Bills of lading are generated by the, the steamship line, in which SEFCO's document department has submitted pre-draft bills of lading, uh, which are instructions to the steamship line. Uh, normally, uh, we have to give the, these uh, bill of lading instructions, the draft, to the steamship lines a couple days before sailing. Uh, normally, uh, the steamship line's bill of lading is then sent back to SEFCO about five days after a vessel has sailed with your unit aboard. Now, there are two types, in general, of ocean bills of lading. One is the original hard copy, uh, which is sent to SEFCO, and in turn, uh, we would forward these hard copy original documents to the address noted to us on the SLI form, the Shipper's Letter of Instructions form. The other type is a scanned copy of a bill of lading, which will be forwarded to you, in which case the steamship line uh, can do what's called an express release of the freight by telexing the port agent at the terminal of discharge. Uh, this works pretty well for certain ports of discharge like uh, Northern Europe, Scandinavia, whereas original hard copy bills of lading uh, seem to be uh, the norm uh, for consignees in other parts of the world, uh, for example, going to West Africa. Uh, to some ports in West Africa, the steamship line may charge an additional fee uh, to arrange a telex release. So uh, basically, the choice is up to you. Uh, there can be an original bill of lading or an express telex release bill of lading, uh, and so therefore, let us know what your choice will be. Let us know beforehand, and we'll take care of it accordingly.